Hi all. So my name is Sumit, and today we are going to discuss on future methods. So in future methods, first we need to understand what is synchronization and asynchronization, and then we will understand the definition with a uh, good examples and some scenarios where we actually use the future method in Salesforce, and those are very real time and definitely. it is very good to see them and then some live interview question and answers some more scenario and tricky question and answers so let's proceed on this one so to understand is synchronization and asynchronization so let's just uh, view this diagram so suppose in first picture so this one is suppose my first picture and this one is my second picture so suppose two students are there in this we can say student a and here student b so student a is doing 10th then 12th then engineering and now he has completed around 7 years and zero knowledge of salesforce am i right because he has not done any training oh now apart from this is a student b so here you will see he has done 10th 12th engineering plus in last year parallelly he has also done the course of salesforce with certification one year of course and then finally what he will receive seven year with engineering plus one year knowledge of salesforce who is the better definitely second one will be the better the reason behind it in parallelly while he is doing his uh, engineering he has completed a salesforce co course as well so what i am trying to say here means parallelly he has done it means the second one will done this one asynchronously and whereas first one is a synchronization means after completion completing his fourth year of four, after the four year of engineering he will start again the salesforce for one year this is what is the synchronization means you will do every task one by one this is called synchronization whereas asynchronization means you are doing a step by step but if you have a time you are doing a second thing also so this is called asynchronous this is the only difference so if you are parallelly working it is a asynchronous i hope you are clear with the synchronization and asynchronization now basically what is a future method and how can we declare it okay so future method is that means if you declare a method as a future so it will run in your background okay asynchronously so you can call a future method for executing long run process okay so if you have something that you need to update something or some call outs are there or you are uh, means fetching some data from there or you are trying to remove some dml operations so not dml mixed dml operations so at that moment future is a very useful so here just i have given some example so this is how we are going to declare as a future just above of your method you have to declare but it should be a static as well as void and it will only take the parameter as a primitive data parameter this is the only condition okay now this thing let go in interview so it will give you a more clear picture on interview question and answers so one more thing uh, when we use the future method actually when we have to use so there are almost three or four scenarios where we are using the future methods till means my experience is around 9 uh, year of experience so i have used the future method in uh, these areas so then first one is avoid mixed dml error means so what is mixed dml error means so when you performing some dml operations on setup objects like user groups profile permission sets or a queue and in same transaction in, in the same code you are also doing some dml operation on with with on account to contact or some as objects okay then we may get some errors like avoid mixed dml errors okay so for that what we use we use the future method okay how we can use the future method so we will create another method and make it future 
okay suppose there are two uh, methods are there first i will uh, means update perform the dml operations on user or profiles and in second method i will create a future method and i will perform the updates operation in future method then second is very useful in future method means if you will see use trigger so from trigger we cannot send a callouts but if you use a future method through that we can perform a callout as well okay now now we are means in a position where we are getting lot of soql errors 101 so we can put the future method to avoid soql also but it will not give should not return any value or anything right but just make sure you have to optimize your query and some things that you can use the future method as well to just uh, to just reduce the queries so you will not get 101 means and fourth one i can say whenever you want any piece of code which is which should run in background so we have to use the future method okay now see some interview question and answers so you will get more clear on this one so can we call future method in another future method no we can't and we can never call any future method from another future method so how to store the return value from future method so return type will be void so you can't put any return type rather than void so you have to explicitly put the void only because it will run in background so we don't know when the return will come so salesforce has completely stopped this one so what parameters you can pass in future method so straightforward in a method we can pass only primitive data type that's it and these all are the examples like list set maps we are going to pass it so can we call another asynchronous type means can we call batches queuable schedule apex from uh, future method no we can't call we never call okay from future method we never call any batch any queue class or any scheduled class okay now the how will you call the future method if you'll see this example class is the online support and this is the future method that i have declared and this is my future method so how, if you need to call this one so how you will call it's a static method so simply i will put the class name dot the method name that's it this is how you have to call your future method if you want to call let's see so how can we monitor the future method records are processing so we don't have any option here that we can monitor them. so suppose you are processing around 10,000 record and you want to see you want to monitor anything so you don't have any option and one more thing uh, one more question I missed here that is uh, how many uh, future classes you can call so the maximum limit is 50 so you can't call the 50 uh, more than 50 methods in your uh, class so that's all it's a quick one so let me know if you want this ppt so kindly comment me your email id i will forward it to you and i will also you uh, add few more questions here one or two questions are left that i will add here okay thank you please like subscribe and share my channel thank you